You think your kid's got a problem? Maybe you undid the kid. The next question is about parents and kids that his kid began school life well, results were okay, but as school life progressed, results dipped. Now this happens to probably 90% or more of kids. When they start life, their life experiences are not bad, not bad yet. And therefore, they just keep going excited. But along the way, shit hits the fan. That means problems come from left, right, center. And the conclusions they make, the kids make, whenever there's a problem, may not be positive. And when it's not positive, then they become like victims. And we call it a significant emotional experience. So significant emotional experiences bad experiences make the kids react in a negative way and after every SEE significant emotional experience they seem to get a funny behavior like a lack of motivation to study let me give you an example when I was in school on my first year I was the best of the best I mean my result was top and then in second grade my results started to dip I wasn't that motivated anymore and then it started going down and so I had a struggle because I was afraid that when I get my report card and I go home, I will be, you know, maybe beaten up or reprimanded by my parents, my mother especially, who would be sad that a kid didn't do well. Agreed, that's fine. But I didn't know what was going on. I just didn't have the motivation to push myself. And my brain didn't start, didn't, didn't work the way it used to. I had bad memory. So I didn't know what was going on. So everybody's thinking that, you know, I'm not that good. And so that became a self-fulfilling prophecy to me. There were smart people and then there was fast. So I bet your kid was feeling that way too. So what happened? So in my first year, when I did so well, there was a teacher who looked at me, maybe with good intention and said, don't be too happy. There's nothing. You just started. So this kid sitting there, and I only realized this when I was 46 years old, when I learned this course, psychology and NLP, then I realized that that was the SEE that destroyed me. Just one thing what a teacher said destroyed me. It, it hurt me so much, it became an SEE. And from then on, I was, what the hell for? Why do I have to study so hard? I worked so hard, I got my results, and this guy says that, and, and a teacher is a very influential person. When a teacher says something, it affects people, especially if they respect you. So when they respect you, you've got to be careful what you say. As teachers, as parents, you, you think your kid's got a problem? Maybe you undid the kid. I don't know what you said. When the kids didn't get such a good result, you could have hurt the kids so much that they sort of what the heck for? And then the brain starts to degrade and the community degrades. Grades degrade and they become ordinary. That's what happens. So if you want to help your kid, you need a therapist. And we have many therapists in our organization who are NLP therapists in Life University. And you can come and call my office and then get a therapist to help your kid so you can set the kid back upwards. Otherwise, that kid is going to hate school and going to become an ordinary person. Maybe don't even finish school. That could happen. Take care of your kid. Don't judge the kid. Thank you.